With the new Google News, we set out to help you do three things. First, keep up with the news you care about. Second, understand the full story. And finally, enjoy and support the sources you love. After all, without news publishers and the quality journalism they produce, we'd have nothing to show you here today. So let's start with how to make it easier for you to keep up with the news you care about. As soon as I open Google News, right at the top, I get a briefing with the top five stories I need to know right now. As I move past my briefing, there are more stories selected just for me. Our AI constantly reads the firehose of the web for you, the millions of articles, videos, podcasts, and comments being published every minute and assembles the key things you need to know. Google News also pulls in local voices and news about events in my area. It's this kind of information that makes me feel connected to my community. This article from The Chronicle makes me wonder how long it would take to ride across this new Bay Bridge. What's cool is I didn't have to tell the app that I follow politics, love to bike, or want information about the Bay Area. It works right out of the box. And because we've applied techniques like reinforcement learning throughout the app, the more I use it, the better it gets. And at any point, I can jump in and say whether I want to see less or more of a given publisher or topic. And whenever I want to see what the rest of the world is reading, I can switch over to headlines to see the top stories that are generating the most coverage right now around the world. So let's keep going. You can see there are lots of big, gorgeous images that make this app super engaging and a truly great video experience. Let's take a look. This brings you all the latest videos from YouTube and around the web. All of our design choices focus on keeping the app light, easy, fast, and fun. Our guiding principle is to let the stories speak for themselves. So it's pretty cool, right? <laughs> what we're seeing here throughout the app is the new Google Material theme. The entire app is built using Material Design, our adaptable unified design system that's been uniquely tailored by Google. Later today, you'll hear more about this and how you can use Material themes in your products. We're also excited to introduce a new visual format we call Newscasts. You are not going to see these in any other news app. Newscasts are kind of like a preview of the story, and they make it easier for you to get a feel for what's going on. Check out this one on the Star Wars movie. Here we're using the latest developments in natural language understanding to bring together everything, from the solo movie trailer to news articles to quotes and from the cast and more in a fresh presentation that looks absolutely great on your phone. Newscasts give me an easy way to get the basics and decide where I want to dive in more deeply. And sometimes I even discover things I never would have found out otherwise. For the stories I care about most, or the ones that are really complex, I want to be able to jump in and see many different perspectives. So let's talk about our second goal for Google News, understanding the full story. Today, it takes a lot of work to broaden your point of view and understand a news story in depth. With Google News, we set out to make that effortless. Full coverage is an invitation to learn more. It gives a complete picture of a story in terms of how it's being reported from a variety of sources and in a variety of formats. We assemble full coverage using a technique we call temporal co-locality. This technique enables us to map relationships between entities and understand the people, places, and things in a story right as it evolves. We apply this to the deluge of information published to the web at any given moment and then organize it around storylines all in real time. This is by far the most powerful feature of the app and provides a whole new way to dig into the news. Take a look at how full coverage works for the recent power outage in Puerto Rico. There are so many questions I had about this story, like, how did we get here? Could it have been prevented? And are things actually getting better? We built full coverage to help make sense of it all, all in one place. We start out with the set of top headlines that tell me what happened, and then start to organize around the key story aspects using our real-time event understanding. 
For news events that have played out like this one over weeks and months, you can, you can understand the origin of developments by looking at our timeline of the key moments. And while the recovery has begun, we can clearly see there's still a long way to go. There are also certain questions we're all asking about a story, and we pull those out so you don't have to hunt for the answers. We know context and perspective come from many places, so we show you tweets from relevant voices and opinions, analysis, and fact checks to help you understand the story that one level deeper. In each case, our AI is highlighting why this is an important piece of information and what unique value it brings. Now, when I use full coverage, I find that I can build a huge amount of knowledge on the topics I care about. It's a true 360 degree view that goes well beyond what I get from just scanning a few headlines. On top of this, our research shows that having a productive conversation or debate requires everyone to have access to the same information, which is why everyone sees the same content in full coverage for a topic. It's an unfiltered view of events from a range of trusted news sources. Thank you. So I've got to say, I love these new features. And these are just a few of the things we think make the new Google News so exciting. But as we mentioned before, none of this would exist without the great journalism newsrooms produce every day. Which brings us to our final goal, helping you enjoy and support the news sources you love. We've put publishers front and center throughout the app. And here in the newsstand section, it's easy to find and follow the sources I already love and browse and discover new ones, including over 1,000 magazine titles like Wired, National Geographic, and People, which all look great on my phone. I can follow publications like USA Today by directly tapping the star icon. And if there's a publication I want to subscribe to, say the Washington Post, we make it dead simple. No more forms credit card numbers, or new passwords. Because you're signed in with your Google account, you're set. When you subscribe to a publisher, we think you should have easy access to your content everywhere. And this is why we developed Subscribe with Google. Subscribe with Google enables you to use your Google account to access your paid content everywhere, across all platforms and devices on Google Search, Google News, and publishers' own sites. We built this in collaboration with over 60 publishers around the world, and it will be rolling out in the coming weeks.